Bobby Campion has a passion for high Nellies and the part they've played in Irish history. It's one he'd love to share. Bobby the bikes, is it? Hi, John. <laughs> How are you? How's it going? You're welcome to the door. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jeez, these are two fine specimens. Yeah. And are these actually high Nellies? Is that what they are? Well, there was no such make as High Nelly. Mm. High Nelly was just a nickname. Nowadays, every bike that's from the early 1900s up to 1978 is classed as a, a high generic Nelly. term, so yeah, is it? Yeah. yeah. Listen, will we test on them or hold them? Well, of course. Yeah. You might need them. They're uh, bicycle clips, uh, are Bicycle clips, yeah, Jesus. just keep their trousers tight. It's been a while since I've seen these. <laughs> How's that now? Is that stylish enough, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Did I catch the girl's eyes in <laughs> <isn't> it? Anything. <laughs> <laughs> It's a fantastic way of seeing the countryside, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. fantastic. Well, I started your love affair with Nelly anyway. Oh, sure, look at it. I'm collecting high Nellies for the last 30 years. And yeah. uh, just have a passion about tree speed. How many have you got altogether? Ah, I suppose I have about 75. Or... Have you 75? Yeah, 75, yeah. Yeah, all in working order. No use having them if they're scrap. Getting up on high Nelly is the very same as Stepping back in time and stepping into your grandfather's shoes, that's why yeah. I was there. And they, they were huge, weren't they, in our fathers and oh, our grandfathers' yeah. time? Yeah, before the, the bike, everyone was walking. They were very limited. You had cycled to Kilkenny, but you wouldn't walk to Kilkenny, yes, which is yes. 25 miles away. It also meant you could go and search your work, doesn't it? I was going to work, so there's guys here, there's men here that have worked on, on, on Galway. Really? And, and stayed, stayed a week and then got up in their high nellies and, and came back home at the weekend. And how, be, how long did you cycle to Galway from It'd be eight or nine hours journey on a bike. And of course, they were used for social reasons too. I mean, the GEA would not have flourished oh, not if there was only a handful at a match. Do you know what I mean? People thought nothing of getting up on their bikes and going to Torles, which is 22 miles away, into the matches and back. You know, when I saw the High Nelly today, the first person I thought of was Michael Collins. He was often photographed with his own bike. Oh, wasn't yeah, that was a lovely bike. In fact, a lot of people say that uh, the Irish went to war on bicycles. Well, that was it. <laughs> it's your quick getaway. You were in instant on your bike and away. But Bobby isn't the only High Nelly fanatic in Doro. Come on, gang. Hello. See you where you miss, Hall. Here we come. This evening, we're celebrating the role played by these two wheeled wonders in mobilizing rural Ireland by holding a very special event. I tell you, the perfect summer's evening, huh? The hay is saved, the tea is it, over with the boys and girls, and we're going to a dance! Woohoo! Come on, lads, on the floor, everybody on the floor. A dance has been organised, 1950 style, and the whole community is travelling back in time. For decades, dances like this were held in ballrooms the length and breadth of the country. People came in there hundreds, mostly by bicycle. They danced, chatted, and most importantly, they found love. If you have your eye on some young one, this is the time now. We kept the lights well down for you lads like you were doing. How important was the whole cycling to the dance thing in Ireland? Well, the cycling opened up a whole new horizon for people. To get the bike and to actually go into the next parish was a huge thing. They were getting into new areas, new people. Before that, you were sort of a little bit of matchmaking going on that someone would suit you or someone else, farmer's daughter would suit you or a farmer's son. And that. But this thing all opened up and you got into a different parish with like a no, whole new world. For years, there was many a boy and a girl who probably felt they were stagnating at home in their own little pond. Yeah. But they got the bike That's and away they went. Away they went. When I was just for many of the older folks here tonight, this must be a real blast from the past. Among them is 86-year-old Paddy Ryan. There was no way of going to dances in the outdoors days, only on a bike. And we would cycle to Port Leash, Carlow, which would be 23 miles away, one shilling in, dancing until 12 o'clock. Is tonight bringing you back now to another time, is it? Oh, what's about? going on tonight is it's absolutely memories. I'm, del I'm delighted to be around to have witnessed this night. Mm. You know, at uh, 86 years of age, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a pleasure. Today was like a window into another Ireland, like a, a more romantic Ireland. And you know what? It really brought home to me, if you pardon the pun, 
how important a cog and how huge a cog the High Nelly was in that huge social revolution that took place into the 50s and 60s where for the first time the masses and particularly youngsters had the freedom to go where they want, when they want and they did. For the first time they were attending matches miles away thanks to the High Nelly and then they were going on to dances to exotic locations maybe, maybe even on the far side of the county.